Let's go to uh, Sweetwater. Talk to Sean. Sean, how you doing? I'm doing good, Rick. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Hey, um, I wanted to ask you, I've heard Sean Hannity from time to time talk about how Hillary was uh, exonerated before even investigated and whatnot, and I guess it was just to keep her in the race. But what do you think would have happened with the country if she had been, you know, removed from the presidential race because of that? Okay, what would have... Okay, I'm not clear on your question, Sean. Forgive me. What, uh... Well, uh, you know how, like, everybody pitched a uh, royal fit when President Trump won? Right. They didn't necessarily pitch a royal fit when Hillary... I mean, when Hillary cheated Bernie Sanders, Sanders right. out of his deal. But if, if they would have removed Hillary from the race because of this scandal, if they would have charged her with gotcha. a crime... right. Then you, what, I mean, what do you think the outrage and the uproar would have been? Uh, as far as uh, Hillary being, well, okay, I think your question is twofold. Um, first, you have to know that uh, Bernie was was beating Hillary pretty good, um, and that's why uh, the Democratic uh, leadership, um, along with the, the Clinton campaign, uh, worked behind the scenes to basically cut Bernie Sanders off at the knees, which didn't bother me necessarily i i'm no fan of socialism uh but as i as i looked at that i thought wow you know they should, if that thing had a played out i think bernie sanders would have beaten hillary clinton uh, i truly do i mean he just about the time uh he got the axe from his own party um he was i mean he was it was a groundswell of support it was it was amazing almost amazing as amazing as trump's win um first of all it was never going to happen because you had the democrats and i believe some republicans and the media uh all working hand in glove uh, to make sure hillary came out on top and as far as the comey exoneration before uh, indictment uh that's just hand in glove um working with uh, with the obama administration at the time Hillary uh, was the foregone conclusion. Uh, it's it's hard to have outrage. Well, it's sort of like I tell kids um, about the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Uh, it's hard to miss something you didn't know you had. Uh, and if you don't teach them that, then they don't miss it. There was no way, no way the media, the FBI, or anyone else was going to do anything uh, that, uh, you know, led to Hillary Clinton being taken out of the running. It was just not going to happen. That's why Trump's win, I think, was so surprising to so many people. I mean, everybody and their dog, um, you know, had been uh, checked off as, you know, Hillary supporting. No matter what, she's not going to be indicted. I mean, good Lord, if you and I did 10% of what Hillary Clinton we know about, uh, we'd be under the jail. And when I say what we know about, I'm sure there's a lot we don't know about. Oh, yeah. And how bad of a candidate do you have to be to cheat so hard and still lose so bad? That See, that's the point. The, uh, you know, Hillary, I think at last count, has 42 different excuses for not winning. The fact is, I think it was Clinton saturation. Uh, just like with Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky, uh, you know, that, that story eventually got to a saturation point. I know because I was behind a mic every day. And it, it was like, you know, people said, you know, if I did care at one time, I don't anymore. It was just too much of the same thing over and over and over again. I think there was Clinton saturation by virtue of her name, Hillary saturation. We had heard nobody trusted her, not even people in her own party. People, you know, some of the worst stories that came out about Hillary came out from people she worked with. Um, she was just a bad candidate. But you're right. To lose after cheating as badly as she did uh, tells you she was a flawed candidate from day one. Yeah, that's good. Cool. I'm glad I didn't vote for her. Yeah, well, you know, it. Uh, Nobody trusts her. The people in her own party, in her own campaign, didn't trust her. It, you know, every 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 time someone gets close to a Clinton, um, you know, something bad happens. There's a scandal, and she's always the Teflon mom. It just slides right off. As far as any, 
you know, legal recourse or legal responsibility. But when it comes to a politician, uh, she is a pathetic shadow of her former self. She's never, ever going to be what she once was in the arena of politics. She's just, uh, you know, she took it too far.